Hey guys, Witchy Cat Lady here in Dragon Adventures for Noctorious, the Shadow Dragon. And I managed to get one to spawn. I'm going to tell you all the details in a second, but let's go get it real quick. So what we do know is that you see here, I'm going to show you in the chat, ignore Zach, say in the chat, that Witchy Cat Lady has a shadow egg spawn for them. So it shows you in the chat, so you can't miss it. And we do know that it is any of the prehistoric nest egg spawn points. So we just need to go check them. And it's going to be purple, so we really can't miss it. So there's a spawn down there, but that's not the purple one, so we're going to keep going. Another spawn, but it's not the Noctorious. On to go. And there's another one there, but it's not it, so it's around here. Oh, I see it in the distance. That is a nice bright purple. You cannot miss it. All right, here we go. And it is a 100% patch for the Noctorious once you actually get it, so you don't have to worry once you get it. And as soon as I grab this, I'll go right back down to the shadow altar and show you what to do. Actually, I'll go to spawn and show you how to get to the shadow altar. So when you spawn into the world, you'll notice it looks a little different. They reworked it. There's a tunnel here. You go into this tunnel, you go down in here, and if you're anybody that's gone into the bits of the volcano, you'll recognize this part. Turn this way. So we go down here and we're gonna drop. There's the altar area. And it shows you how many eggs are available. Now this honestly was a little overwhelming at first because we didn't have all of the information, but now we do. So let's go in here and look at this. So you go in and there's a leaderboard here. Anybody in the top 10 at the end of the week, you see there's a reset here. They are guaranteed an egg, whether they get one or the whole rest of the week or not they'll get one at the end of the week if they're on the top 10 and it's been a fight if you're not worried about that don't don't fuss with it you see they're putting in a lot of food now we get to offer as much as we want but six percent hatch or i'm sorry a six percent spawn chance is the highest you're going to get so if you're not fighting for the leaderboard, I highly suggest you just put in enough food to get to the 6%. And these are the foods that you can offer. The carrot, apple, peach, onion, banana, meat, bacon, watermelon, pumpkin, pineapple, coconut, and dragon fruit. And once you put them in, you're good for a week. My kid has left the server and rejoined and it stayed at the percentage. Now you will have to do this again in a week. There is a bigger number here to fill up. If by the end of the week, everyone in Dragon Adventures gets that built up, 100 possible eggs get added to the total we can receive. So the faster that gets added onto, the faster we get more eggs we can work towards. And this will reset after a week. I hope that makes sense. Please ask your questions in the comments and I will answer them as quickly as possible. Let me know if you need another video and I will do that for you. I want you to understand this. And again, this is a new permanent thing in Dragon Avengers. It is not going to go away. So I'm going to go incubate this thing and then I guess I'll show it off in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications so you don't miss videos like this. And I'll see you guys in game or another video. Bye.